Thank you for stopping by my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you the quickest and easiest way to make a kid wig with a latch hook if your child is suffering from hair loss. This is a nonprofit, so make sure you check out the description box below and donate to freewigsforkids.org. Jumping straight into this video, you'll need some lace and a cap and you can pin it down and basically sew it together. Now I must say that no kid wig fits every head size so you must measure a kid's head before you make a wig or it's going to be too big so i basically got this little girl's measurements and i measured the lace and cut it i also made the cap from netting and like the bra strap material you can get from like joann's or michael's um, you go ahead and sew it onto the cap just like it's a frontal. Now, I usually use a ventilating needle to do all of my work, but sometimes I do use a latch hook. That's only if I'm doing bigger knots and not small ones. And you'll see what I'm talking about as we get more into this video. But I used um, donated hair from someone who cut their hair off and sent it to me in the mail to get this braid wig started. Um, the little girl wanted braids and beads, so that is what kind of wig this is going to be in this video. You have to kind of like use your creativity when you're making kid wigs. Now once you've sewn your lace onto the cap, you see the black part up underneath the lace? Trace the thread and just go ahead and cut that black piece off. Just like I'm doing. Once you've done that, now you can see straight through the lace and you can see the cork head. You'll need chalk. I don't use makeup pencils or colored pencils because that's hard to wash off um, on the lace. And when you finish, it doesn't look natural because you can see the marker or whatever you use to draw your braid lines onto your lace. We all know that chalk washes away if you powder it with a makeup brush or if you wipe it off with your hands. So. I just drew straight lines and I used my imagination to envision how I wanted the straight back cornrows to look on this frontal braided lace wig. Um, so you basically just draw straight lines with chalk. If you're not a pro at this, then you can use a measuring tape to make sure that your lines are straight, but that really doesn't matter because you want it to look natural and nobody's braids are just super crisp. So keep drawing your lines and leave a tiny tiny space in between and what the spaces will be it will be like your scalp where the part is. So keep doing this all the way till you get to the very end of the lace. And voila there it is. So. It looks kind of ridiculous, but that's your foundation. Like, you need the lines and you need this on your cap in order to latch hook and ventilate the hair. Now, I'm coloring it in, and that is where my braids will be cornrowed. The lace spaces in between is, like, where the scalp will be. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my loud daughter in the background. She is on her tablet on FaceTime with her friends. So she'll never let me be great when I'm doing videos. Okay, so just continue to color in your braid lines. And then get your latch hook. I prefer to use the micro latch hook because it's really tiny and the knots aren't that big. But if you're not used to doing this then you might want to use the bigger one but you have to be careful with the bigger one because you don't want to poke the bigger one pokes holes into the lace so i prefer to use a smaller latch hook now you see how i made a knot so basically you stick it through pull it through the lace carefully and bring it around and basically just make a knot see i have very strong knots and they're big, but not that big. This is very time consuming. I think it took me three days to finish this wig. Mainly because I was doing a video on it. 
that's what took me so long but I could have did this in like an hour or two and usually I don't make my braid wigs this way I'm just giving you guys a creative way to make a kid wig for your child if your child just wants braids and they have hair loss this is a way for you to do it if you don't know how to ventilate Like I said, this is very time consuming and extremely tedious, but if this is something that makes your child happy and all they want is hair, then I'm all for it. I always do what makes my child happy, so you know it's time consuming. It may take you like a week, but you guys can do it. Um, I wanted to make this video anyway because I see a lot of people out here charging like ridiculous amount of money for kid wigs and like beauty is priceless how can you capitalize off of a kid like so i'm basically going to show you guys how to do this and you can do this for free and what you choose to do with this afterwards that's on you but continue to keep putting your knots on your chalk lines you notice i'm not putting any hair onto the tan spots because that's basically going to be like your part your scalp in between your braids if that makes sense Alright y'all, so as you can see, I have all of my lines completed, and I know it looks weird, but I'm basically just going to part in between every hairline that I made on the chalk line, and simply braiding straight back corn rolls or scalp braids with the braiding hair.
All right, y'all, so we are just about done on one side, and I am going to do the other side off camera because this is so time consuming, but you'll get to see the full process. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that part on the right in a ponytail and put my cute little pink and white beads on the ends. And see, it's starting to look natural already. And I'll let you see what the other side looks like when I get done with that side as well. Okay, so I'm done with the other side, and as you can see, it is nighttime. I've literally been working on this for like three days straight. So now it's time to do the back, and the back is pretty easy. Um, make your chalk lines too, but start from the lace. So your chalk lines will be on the lace from where each scalp braid or corn roll in the top starts. See how I'm drawing the line from on top of the lace all the way to the bottom of the cat. And these lines are also where your braids are going to go. So once you get done drawing your lines, you're basically going to just, this is so simple, crochet the hair on each line. It doesn't matter how much hair, just don't do it too fat because then your braids are going to be way bigger in the back than they are in the front on the top. So see, I'm just crocheting the hair as you would make a crochet wig. It's the same method, same way, but on the lines and after you do that you just start braiding them straight down and straight back and it's gonna be something really beautiful I like to use my creativity when I'm doing this so you know I'm enjoying watching my own self make this video I kind of feel like this video is like self-explanatory, but I felt like I needed to do a voiceover. But so now we're gonna go ahead and just corn roll a straight back corn roll on the cap. And would you look at that? So you're going to do this, and these you're going to put very close together. So just braid, braid, braid on all of your lines until you get done. You can go ahead and put the beads on, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like when I'm completely done. And you'll also get to see what this little cutie looks like when she gets her wig put on.
legs to be like an inch long because when you get ready to swirl them it looks so natural and so perfect i also don't like a lot of baby hair i like it very thin so as you can see i have like little lines of baby hair and i'm just basically making them an inch long So once you have your baby hair cut, you can go in with your eco gel. Now, I have a fit if I don't have eco gel on hand or if I run out because this gel is like the bomb on my kid wigs. Like I only use eco. It doesn't turn white and it stays hard. And when the kids get my wigs, all they have to do is I make my wigs easy to put on. So like if the moms can't help the kids in the morning if they have to go to school like i make the wigs to where the kids can just throw them on like a hat so you basically does you don't have to use glue with my wigs like most of the pictures you see if you're following me on ig and twitter none of my kids have glue or tape on their wigs like a majority of them don't and the wigs don't come off.
so guys this is the final look and the final product and make sure you share this video because it might help someone help their child these wigs are 100 percent free through my organization so if you can find it in your heart and you want to help me out with making these kid wigs make sure you visit freewigsforkids.org and drop my organization a donation i have about now over 5,000 children waiting for wigs and that's all over the world so share this video subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and i don't know follow me on instagram and thank you for watching